we did it skull army one day after we officially hit rank 20 diamond club let's get some of that diamond chest num 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 ah delicioso my friends and i'm gonna tell you all about it skull army how we were able to achieve a diamond boom goes to dynamite roll intro let's do this Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Skull Army and friends. Uh, Skull Crusher here. It is a Thursday, April the 8th, 2020. And yes, we are coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video and also an update, Skull Army, for officially hitting Diamond and compliments of the layout. We're talking the Sugar Pot. This is an absolute savage, savage of a 5ER layout. Now, I know a lot of what I know what a lot of you are thinking now skull that looks dirty but come on man what's so dirty about it well if we go to my log and just take a look at some of these replays here 217 to 208 shout out to zuzu cd5 i did lose that one right there uh but 213 to 137 we did have a fizzler two er's we did have a fizzler one er we did have another fizzler two er's a shout out to moose i fizzled bad on that one right there and then of course the final three battles we did have a fizzle shout out to doom here uh six er heavy chopper rusher we did win that one by three seconds the layout did shut doom down at least giving me the three second advantage and then of course another fizzler leaving two ers now let's dive on in to the tech tree to show you what makes this layout so savage and there's three things in specific my friends so starting off with number one the max rocket launcher is absolute a necessity the staple for this layout after the max rocket launchers you will need that damage amplifier too now that is the da2 after the fourth engine room majority of the players are utilizing the sky shield or the doom cannon but trust me if you've got those max rocket launchers the da2 the damage amplifier 2 is an asset moving forward after that my friends you know we're talking about that building damage building damage at 50 percent with the da2 damage amplifier 2 with the max rocket launchers holy smokes does it shut down my friends let's just actually go take a look at my RLs over here. Look at the damage that these bad boys are dealing. Damage per second right now is 69 for the base stats here, plus 86 additional total bonus. This is crazy, my friends. Damage per shot is 78.4, plus 98 additional DPS damage per second. Your time between shots is roughly 0.35 seconds. And of course, after six shots, has to reload for five seconds. You do have that five second buffer between reloads, but nonetheless, the damage is insane now i want to show you what this layout has been all about it hasn't even necessarily been about my attacking it has been about the faith in the base and how it slows down the opponent so we're actually watching the replay here of angry wolf a shout out to angry wolf here it looks like we did have a bullet full of vampire azuka squad they're actually my bad skull army we do have a bombardiers in there bullet vampire azuka bombardiers with our good old friend dr vitamin have not been seeing too much more of Dr. Vitamin, but look at that full drop on the uh, only ramp. <laughs> right side their bullet does go down after we do make our way up here and of course you can see those max rocket launchers just chipping away at the vampire zookas their vampire zookas actually finally meet their enemy with the max rocket launchers the damage amplifier too and of course the damage what did I just say? Damage of R2. The building damage, my friends. There we go. Just had a brain fart right there. But look at this angry wolf here getting uh, the clear here. But it did take 137. So this is actually going to be a different kind of video here where we're actually showing the replays of my opponent. So you can see the savagery of the sugar pot here. Now, I do want to give a massive, massive shout out to PG Pirate Pete Minstrel and the beautiful Amy Chan. You know, we're talking sugar, sugar pie, the sugar ship 
leader uh, for using this base. Now, I know Sugar did not create this base, uh, but Pete and Sugar were using this base about three days ago, and here I am using it three days later, and it is still dominating. It is still progressing. It is still having faith in the base here. Look at this as we push forward here. Critters, so much gumbo energy to manage here. I'm pretty sure we are going to lose Kavon very, very shortly here, but you know what? MVP Bombas pushing a forward here. Look at this here. Boomer is like, had enough of this. He's like, all right, man, I'm going. I'm going. Delayed Boat of the Seekers there. That was failed from the start, but I am seeing a lot more of those Delayed Seeker drops with the Bomba Vampire Zuka attacks here. One Bomba left here. I'm more than positive the Boom Cannon locked on after the Reflare. Check this out here. Nice little Reflare. Boom! Goes the Bomba there. Kavon's like, yeah, I'm not having any of that. Kevin is getting the heck out of there. Crazy, crazy defense here. So let's check out Gunner uh, Globa TM trademark here. Enemy replay. Another fizzle. Compliments of the layout here. The Sugar Pot. Check this one out here, guys. Gunner underscore Gloa ba TM. You know we're talking trademark here. And looks like we do have Kavon Vampire Zuka Bomba from the far right side of the ramp there. It does look like it is only one, two, three, four, five, six boats there. We should have two boats of Seekers being delayed on that. Looks like Critters coming out to clear some of my mind at the top right there. But look at this. These rocket launchers just chip away. Look at that. Even with second wind being fired away here. Those max rocket launchers with the damage amplifier, with the building damage are just absolutely wrecking those Zookas. And this is what I'm normally seeing about one or two Bombas with Kavon. If Kavon does survive the onslaught there, looks like we do have a second win. But once again, Gunner Glowaba is not having any of that, my friends. The faith in the base here the sugar a pot once again making our way right back to the log here another fizzler leaving two ers check this one out my friends the faith in the base continues here this time we're going opposite side of the ramp here with bullet heavy and a bomb bar deer here we know we do have an opponent that did fizzle that did leave two ers here but check this madness out we got barrage coming out up top taking out my flamethrower there i think we might have some critters or possibly the seekers no i do see eight landing crafts there there will be no seekers coming out but look at this bullet does go down and then slowly it's just a bomb is getting picked off here we do have critters coming out to the top here uh, but once again my chinese character friend not having any of this this base creates frustration this base creates a frustration there's a good chance your opponent will rage quit and retreat after they realize how insane it is and why is it insane due to the the madness of the maxed rocket launchers with the da damage amplifier too and yes you know we're talking the 50% building damage. This is madness, my friends. And then, of course, a Mystique right here. I did fizzle and leave two ERs on that one. Another Chinese character friend here in my log fizzling, leaving one ER. Check this one out, Skull Army. Once again, we've got Bullet, Vampire, Zuka, and Bomba split drop along the ramp here. But look at that. Look at the beating Bullet takes. Bullet didn't even get off the ramp, and he goes down there. Absolutely insane. So much faith in the base. If you have not hit diamond yet, and if you meet the requirements to build the sugar pot, which is max rocket launchers, which is a damage amplifier two, which is also building damage 50%, you will have so much faith in the base. There is a massive chance that you will make diamond with this layout. I I'm still giving this layout a few more days before it fizzles. Even if it fizzles, guys, that's how much faith is in this layout here. Now, this is CM uh, D. DRJ Doom. Now, big shout out to Doom here. Doom is in my Discord. Do not forget to uh, check out the description of the video. We will have links to my Telegram and my Discord, my friends. But this was a 6 ER. I was so happy on this win right here. You're about to see the Heavy Choppers and Bombas attack the Sugar Pot. And once again, just a standard drop. Um, a very standard approach, I should say, with the drop there. But I did speak to Doom after this attack. And Doom was just straight up with me. Skull, I have no idea how to attack this layout but i do got to give compliments to doom here for actually clearing the layout here considering we just witnessed four to five opponents in a row fizzle that's how much faith you will have in the sugar pot my friends look at this madness here there's the hail mary at the end with the heavies and the two remaining bombas and what makes this even better is of course the boss fight to diamond here another fizzler my friends check this one out skull army faith 
in the base if you have made it this far school army and friends do not forget to leave a like on today's video if you are new and you are digging this content crush that subscribe button ring that bell and yes stay notified for when i go live and upload awesome boom beach content check this out we got my arabic friend here with the barrage critter takedown of the mid left er and now we've got a direct flare up the middle here this is actually a seeker fizzle here so you will actually see seeker fizzles as well here that's how much faith you will have in the sugar pot and bullet taking an absolute beating in the middle he does go down take a look at our seekers at the top of right there they do fizzle seekers at the top left do fizzle as well and there you have it skull army and friends the boss fight for diamond boom goes the dynamite and i do want to show you guys how effective this layout is as well before we do officially wrap up the video let's make our way over to the local leaderboard of course massive shout out to general electric pg pete uh we've got sugar mini and that is sugar pie the leader of the sugar ship they're absolutely dominating it rank 23 both of them guys i'm calling them legendary for both of them sugar both accounts again this season here and of course this is where we shine right over here guys the last of the canadians in diamond right now i'll take it i do want to give a massive shout out to coach chicken for also reaching diamond today as well well, I'm not sure if chicken is using the sugar pot. No, because chicken is 6 ER, and that's how boss chicken is right now. Nonetheless, my friends, shout out to everybody who did make diamond today. I should be going 6 ER in the next day. We got that diamond chest, a couple more to collect here as well. But nonetheless, my friends, there is my 5 ER push into diamond. Compliments of the sugar pot. Remember, my friends, smash that like. If you're new, crush that subscribe button. We will officially be wrapping up the video my friends i think it's time to make like a tom and cruise have a wonderful night my friends we'll catch you on the seas peace